Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering, hey, she looks really, really familiar. That's because I've just filmed the look, um, the soft glam look. Um, I will link it down below if you haven't seen it, but that's not the point of the video. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a story time. Uh, okay, so welcome back to my channel, by the way. I'm Bianca. Nice to meet you. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos weekly. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my pedophile experience. Now... Durban, and I'm sure the rest of the world was probably full of them. So one day I was at Checkers and innocently buying dog food, and some strange, short, bald, eagle looking kind of guy walks up to me and he says, Hey, I haven't seen you in so long. We should get together again. I haven't seen you since you were little. You've grown up so much. Can I have a hug? And in my mind, I'm like, oh, wait, he's so nice. Maybe he's a little bit mental until he asked me for a hug. Now, this guy, I'm about one meter six, so he probably comes up to my boobs. So I was like, no, I'm fine, thank you. I, I don't know you. Because I don't, I re I've never seen this guy in my life before. And now he's asking me for a hug and saying that he hasn't seen me since I was little. And um, I don't remember him. And I'm pretty sure if I asked my mom who he was, he'd be like, no, we don't know him. And at that point, I didn't really think he was a pedophile. I just thought he was mentally unstable. And so I was like, no, no, thank you. I don't want a hug. <laughs> and he leaned in anyway. And he literally gripped me so hard in the middle of the chair. And I was like, no, sorry, I don't know you. And then he was like, you know, you're like a sister to me. And I'm like... Okay, and then I just I just carried on. I walked forward because the next person was getting ready to like put this stuff on the counter, and I was I was like Bianca, just get the fuck out and pay. So I was so scared that he was gonna follow me home as well because I literally lived down the road, and he was just so so creepy. So I was like, no, I don't know you. I don't want to hug you. Goodbye. So that sounds like a pretty shitty story, right? You're like, oh, Bianca, what the hell? Some guy just tried to hug you. But he was like mid-40s. I'm getting really short, bald, and just like fat and weird. Um, not that there's anything wrong being fat. It's just like he was he looked funny. He looked like an Oompa Loompa. Anyway, so a couple of weeks back. This is when I was in my trick. Um, so it was about a year ago. So... <laughs> Uh, like a couple of weeks on I go with my mom to take us this time and I'm in my, I'm in my school uniform and um, We're waiting in the line again, and then he walks in like where, where the checkout center is there's like a, a Door as an exit so he comes through the exit and now there's this other little kid with his mom and He says hey, I remember you you were so little the last time I saw you. Oh, give me a handshake, give me a hug, do you want a sweet? And I was like, oh my god. No fucking way. He just said the same thing to me as he said to this little guy. Oh my god. So then the mom obviously was like, stranger danger. And <laughs> she was like, ha, no, 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 we don't know you. Okay, bye. And then she just walked off. I wish it was that fucking easier for me. He just kept trying to touch me. So then he makes eye contact with me. And he starts staring at me for like, I'm not even joking, however it long it took, however it long, however long it took to check out and like pay for everything, he, he stood there and he watched me. And at this, this whole time, I'm like, mom, mom, remember that pedophile guy I told you about in checkers? Yeah, he's standing right there and he's fucking staring at me. And I, just, I, I didn't want to make eye contact with him, so like he's like looking at me here, and I'm like, oh, la, 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 the day is a beautiful day, and he is just like looking at me, and I don't know what to do, so I just I ignore contact, and then he finally walks away. Now I see him almost at least once a month because obviously we are living in the same area, and Checkers is like the main davenport black like, square kind of vibe where everyone goes shopping and i see him at least once a month and i think he's gotten the vibe that i really don't want to hug him and that i'm not interested in going into his creepy white van for an ice cream 
So that was my mini story time for you guys today. It was probably so anticlimactic. You probably guys were hoping that I was going to be like abducted or something. But yeah, strange danger, guys. Stay safe. Stay with your mom. Don't go out by yourself in bad dog feet. That's the moral of the story. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you guys have any had stalker or like pedophile experiences. I would love to know your stories because I literally feel so creeped out and so violated. I don't even know why I never spoke about this in my channel before. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos weekly. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.